Hey guys, it's 50 Hoods aka Jose for bringing you some TDM, a 46 kill game with no chopper gunner, no blackbird, no dogs or all of that. As you can see, hopefully you can read the title. If you can't read the title, I will like tell it you via this commentary. Hopefully your ears work. I got 46 kills without a chopper gunner. Now, obviously on YouTube, you see a lot of gameplays, especially on big channels where they go something like 36 on 1 and initially you think that's an amazing score I, th I always think that myself and then you watch the gameplay and then they get like 9 kills you get 9 kills to get a chopper gunner out the chopper gunner just goes to work it starts raping the other team spawn trapping them and all of that and they get like 15 or 16 or maybe more kills with a chopper gunner that just boosts their score to like 25 and 0 and who knows, they might even have the dogs on. And the dogs will get like another 7 or 8 kills. And that's it, they're already at like 34 and 0. And that's a really impressive score, but what did they do apart from spam the R1 button on the chopper gunner? I'm not too sure. It doesn't show a lot of skill. But then again, the kill streaks are in the game to be used. So I'm not saying you're not allowed to use them, but I'm just saying, to me personally, getting a high scoring game, even with a lot of deaths, like in this gameplay I get 11 deaths so if you care about your kill to death ratio so much then obviously the high scoring kill streak assisted game is going to be more beneficial to you but at the end of the day YouTube is for entertainment but who wants who wants to be watching a chopper gun and just owning it's not exactly talent or skill required for, to do that whereas if you're getting a lot of gun kills like I do in this video I'm not just saying my video in general in general there could be other obviously other people get a lot of good games without a chopper gunner so i find them games way more impressive than the ones you see uploaded these days where the chopper gunner just goes to work anyway enough of that i've hopefully i've made my point uh, i just want to talk a bit quickly about my channel i've posted a lot on community channels i don't know you might have heard you might have heard about me before you might have come across a, a, one of my videos or something i don't know because i used to post on lgu then i posted on project envy i think i've uploaded once or maybe twice on AVEX Theatre so I find that's the best that's the best way to gain subscribers because obviously you're giving your videos exposure to a wider audience a wider audience compared to your channel I've got like 1.2 subscribers well not 1.2 I mean 1200 subscribers so obviously there's way more subscribers on AVEX Theatre and other community channels which always helps out the smaller channels like mine well I'm I know there's other smaller channels on mine but like in general my channel is a small one compared to like the hundreds and thousands of the big subscribers that the big people have like C Nanas and all of them dudes fair play to them and yeah that's what I just so yeah I bring what the games are bring if you're into GT5 Gran Turismo 5 on the PS3 I play on the PS3. I used to play on the Xbox. I have got Xbox actually, but I haven't renewed my Xbox Live because I'm always on the PS3. I bring GT5 content videos. I bring Pro Evolution Soccer once a week. And I bring FIFA videos. And obviously Call of Duty Black Ops, which every human being who does commentary does. So obviously I try to differentiate myself to others by bringing other gameplays of other games. And bringing different genres like racing games, sports games. And if you're from the UK, obviously you should be into football. If you're not into football, I don't know what's wrong in what's wrong with you. My Pro Evolution and FIFA series basically is called Beat Your Rivals, where I bring one game on a Pro Evolution Soccer and the other game will be on FIFA, and it'll be like derby matches like Manchester United against Manchester City, Barcelona v Real Madrid, and all of that. But enough enough of that. This is about Call of Duty. In this game, my kill streaks are UAV. Which obviously doesn't get you kills, but it helps you. It helps you to get kills, cause once you get a UAV, just rush out to them orange dots. Try that out. Next time you get a UAV, rush out and get them orange dots, because the chances of running into someone using ghosts are quite minimal. Not uh, in my experience, not many people use ghosts. I'm not saying no one does. Obviously, a small people of do. So, but us rushing out and getting the kills will benefit you a lot more and I've got a napalm strike which sometimes I don't know sometimes is really good sometimes is not actually in this gameplay I get a quad feed with the napalm strike but a lot of times I just kill myself with that napalm strike and make myself look like a food so 
those are my two kill streaks. I didn't choose. There you go. I got quad kill feed there with the napalm. I haven't got a third kill streak because I was still wasting my time trying to choose a kill streak and the game started. And at the beginning, there was a host migration. That's why I already had three kills and the other team just rage quit because I think they were kind of getting owned. So that's why. And what else? What else? Yeah, as I was just saying, um, high gun game kills. Gameplays are way better than kill streak assisted games. What do you guys think about that? Leave a leave a comment what you rather watch because I remember I posted another gameplay quite a while ago where I got a lot of gun kills and a lot of people said they'd rather watch a game with a lot of deaths but at the same time with a lot of gun kills than one with one which has a lot of kill streak assisted kills with zero deaths, which I think is true. And I've got another gameplay which. I was gonna upload but obviously YouTube is flooded with gameplay like that. I went 34 and 0 on TDM 6v6. All I play is 6v6 TDM on Hardcore Search. That's like the Modern Warfare 2, not Modern Warfare 2, that's the Black Ops content I bring on my channel. And basically I got like, I obviously got 9 kills to get the chopper gunner. The chopper gunner got me like 15 kills and then I got rest with a death machine gun which I got from my friend's care package he gave it me. So obviously the majority of those kills again from the kill streaks so that's not very um, skill showing gameplay and as you can see I'm just calling in the napalm strikes like the UAVs and obviously this this is theatre lobby so you can't see me actually calling in the napalm strike but you can see bringing that, that green telephone thing out whatever it's called I don't know and I'm using the Enfield actually <laughs> I don't know why I actually use this gun I don't use it on a regular basis I don't think I'll ever use it but it's funny because it actually got me my highest kill to death not kill to death ratio my highest kill game basically and do you guys actually care about kill to death ratio obviously you don't want a minus one but I think having a two kill to death ratio is good enough a lot of commentators these days strive to get 5 KD I think that's just all overrated final score is 46 and 11 check out my channel if you want to remember to comment this video and thumbs it up or thumbs it down whatever you like I'm off latest